Hey everybody, Steve the Average Gamer back now doing mission 10 for Star Realms. I'm playing this game on Steam, but you can also get it through iOS, through the Google Play Store. Let's just jump back into it. I'm going to mute my microphone so you guys can hear the briefing. Your victory over the machine cult was just in time. Now your realm is being menaced by a trade federation fleet determined to absorb your realm and its wealth into the federation. Minister Sardius has managed to convince your father that using you and the Frontier Fleet to face them before they reach the capital system is the best choice. And he's managed to quickly get your fleet resupplied and rearmed. Show Sardius his faith in you is well placed. All right, so let's take a look at the objective. Standard rules apply. We just got to beat the opponent to advance. Um, standard deck start for us. Eight scouts, two vipers. They're going to start with seven scouts, two vipers, and the Federation shuttle. That's going to give them an extra trade every time that guy comes out. And if he starts picking up a bunch of trade Federation cards, he's going to start racking up the health as well. Challenges, I think what we saw in Mission 9, Rage Against the Cult, I think that is glitched because the objectives are win with no trade Federation cards in your deck, at least three in your deck, and more cards in your deck than your opponent. I'm pretty sure I had at least some Machine Cult cards in my deck for last time. If you see on the bottom, I've got three stars. And this is these objectives, to me, seem as ones you cannot do in a single playthrough. So let's see, any more here? Nope. All right, so that is the objectives again. Win with more Trade Federation cards in your deck than your opponent, at least three or no. These two seem mutually exclusive. Like, you should not be able to get the first one and one of the later ones. So let's get going here. Oh man, the command ship is already out. That's not good. All right, I do have it on a slower play set to get this going a little faster. I'm going to go straight for stuff that I can buy because the command ship is already out. I don't think he's purchased any. He's got a trade pot himself, but I'm kind of hoping I have the right setup so I can get what I need here. I'm going to go for the, mm, I go for the blob wheel because I've got the three trade that I can get when I scrap it and also the trade bot. It's going to help me do this. I really want to get this card. If not, I can settle for the central office, but this is such a good card to have in the game. Three, four, five. I can get it. I, mean, I should be able to get it on this turn. Let's play all. I get the attack because of the ally ability. I have five. Scrap them. I have my eight. Command ship brought down. Where am I? I'm on turn six, my third turn of the game, and I've got an eight cost card. I am going to take out the border world just because it does give health a little bit as well. It's going to make me discard here. That's fine. Drop the viper, and we'll scrap one of those vipers right away. Grab that blob destroyer, and I should have my next card. Yep, I'm going to have uh, two, three, four, five buying at least. On my next turn, I got six. That would have been good to pick up. All right, I'm gonna go straight for the defense center because that's gonna give me a little bit of defense. This guy, and we'll scrap him, get him back down to 50 health. And oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, you couldn't have put a base down. Jerk. All right, drawing two up. I'll scrap a scout here. I could scrap the Viper, but I wanna do some damage here. Six buying. I'm going to go for the Stealth Needle just because if I can copy the Blob Destroyer or even the Command Ship, that is some hefty damage I can do there. I'll grab the Battle Pod too because now the objective is to just start doing damage. I'm going to scrap the Fleet HQ because I don't want him to get that. I could have gone for the Dreadnought or the Central Office, but I want to take a run at getting those cards. I kind of bypass for those ones, so let's see if yep, I can discard him, no problem. Trade bot, scrap the scout, go for these guys, get the frigate, and now I have the frigate. I can start forcing the Trade Federation units to start getting them to recycle their cards. Get my health back up to where it's even. Let's play all. What do we got here? Six. What did he get? He got, he grabbed, yep, he grabbed the central office. That's good for them, but... I only have one Star Empire card. 
I'm going to go for this guy first. I'm going to go for... Yep, go for the war world. I don't have two bases in place, so the embassy yacht is useless for me. Scrap the machine base. Keep him from getting some ally abilities in play. Ah, oh, darn. Just one time, I really want to get this, the stealth needle, in play with the command ship. I'm not going to be able to get it this turn either. Not going to scrap that because I want to keep that guy in play. I'm going to go for the attack here. Scrap the blob wheel. And then I'm actually going to scrap the dreadnought. It's this late in the game. I haven't picked it up yet. I need to have that card in my hand, but I don't. So I'm just going to trash it. Take him down. I'm going to be discarding at least one card here. Nope, just the one. Still no bases coming up. I was really hoping he'd put a base into play. Got four. Go for the blob fighter. I'll go for the cutter and then double back for the trade bot. Of course, this guy comes up now. And I'll scrap the survey ship just to just for kicks. He's down to two health. And you know what? I'm gonna do this here. Scrap this guy. Come on. Damn! I was kind of hoping I could get the uh last two attack I needed because I've got the trade bot, which wouldn't have given me anything in the war world. Or the command ship would have given me what I needed to take him out. But now, he's definitely going to go down on this turn. Because I've got my five attack in play. Does have any? He's got just enough to go down. Plus, I'm going to be drawing two more cards. And that'll be the war world. And that. Put him in play. Do this. Destroy the target base of the central office. I've got six attack. I'll buy the destroyer. I'll buy the, buy the machine for the cutter there. Take a look at these real quick. Not going to get that one, it looks like, but just going to do this. And there we go. That is mission 10 complete. I'm going to put a cut in the video here, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn around, and I'm going to do the next episode right away. This episode was pretty short, but please like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in mission 11.